Alright guys, welcome to my let's play of Majora's Mask. Um, we're going to call ourselves Link, because that's actually his name. Or should I call him Zelda? Nah, I'm calling him Zelda. Zelda. We are called Zelda. The hell? No, um... We're just going through a forest. Oh yeah. Hmm... I wonder what they're up to. Eh, it shouldn't be anything. Too bad. <clears throat> Excuse me. But what is this? Go hurt Epona. Well, hello, Tattle, Tail, and Skull Kid. Hey, hey, you two fairies did great. I wonder if he has anything good on him. Huh? This guy? Well, that shouldn't be a problem. Pretty Akarena. Hey, Skull Kid, let me touch it. I wanna see. You can't, Chattel! What would we do if you dropped it and broke it? No way! You can't touch it! Oh, but sis, why? I, can't I try it out too? You get him, Link. Do it. Do it. Do it. You're the hero time. Just do it. Just do it, Link. Oh, that's cheating. He teleported. Don't even understand what's going on right now. I do not even understand what is going on right now. Sucks. Um, then lost his sword and. Or his horse, not his sword. His, his sword's right here. Um. But, let's cut some grass. Seems okay to learn how to use the sword. You use the sword by pressing B. Uh, you can also press the Z button. 
to do some backflips, some jump tacks, um, you can also pick up grass apparently, um, I don't remember actually being able to do that in a period of time, so that's awesome. Um, you're gonna do vertical slashes, and that was a horizontal slash, and you want a vertical, yeah, that one. Um, Alright, so we got 33 rupees, so that's actually fairly decent. Um, you'll find bushes like these across the land, uh, they move, so you are either going to need, you're going to need to, um, cut all of them at once, but with our current equipment, it's actually kind of difficult, but later when we get better equipment and stuff, we'll be able to cut those with ease. But cutscene. So, I'm gonna shut up. What's with that stupid horse of yours? It doesn't listen to a word that's said to it. There's no point in writing a thing like that. So I did you a favor and got rid of it. Hee <laughs> hee. Ah, oh, boo hoo. Why the sad face? I just thought I'll have a little fun with you. Oh, come now. Do you really. <laughs> Okay, well, I hope you guys got that, because... Another quick text. Uh, oh well. Whoa, these audio and... Graphics. That is weird. Leave. We don't want you. I hope that's not in the video. But oh well, if it is, um, I'm sorry guys. Hee <laughs> 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 hee, now that's a good look for you. You'll stay here for the like of the video forever. These cutscenes, I'm not... Or, these text boxes, I'm not even gonna read them anymore. Nope. Pedal, stop it. Did Pedal just purr at us? Huh. Okay then. I'm not even gonna go there. Not even gonna care. But, sadly, um... Paddle and Skull Kid actually left Paddle. Um, so now we actually have to go find them, um, but, um, it's really turns into a quest of something and something else, and we need to save the world again. Yay! Not really. Yay! We get to save the world again. Which is awesome. Uh, but the, for those of you that actually know of Ocarina of Time, uh, Tattle here is another Navi, but it's not as annoying. Which is okay, because who wants another Navi? Also, why would you want to listen to Hey Listen? 
I know I would, but that's a different story. I'm not like most people. So when it comes to stuff like that, I am not the person to ask. And if you open this chest, you get some Deku nuts. Um, while flying as uh, the Deku scrub, you can use B to drop Deku bombs, which will, um, upon impact with anything, it makes a blinding flash and freezes enemies in their traps. So it's fairly good for um, getting some time to recover in fights and. Um, I just screwed up. That is fine. Um. I promise I know what I'm doing. Um. Yeah, we'll do that. Come on. Come on. Uh, yeah, you can just use the targeting and then A to talk to people further away, which, yeah. We're also going to talk to it while we're over here. And there is actually something going around where um, people think that that's that actually the the Deku scrub that you turned into the spirit or essence of it per se. So um, yeah, it's kind of sad. <laughs> Met with a terrible fate, haven't you? Stop it. Creepy. You will find who this is. Your you will find out who this is in a bit. Actually you'll find out right now. Yes, he owns the happy math shop. He travels far and wide for masks. Um uh, hence his name. Um uh, he lost a very important mask that was stolen from by an imp in the forest. Um, so he's at a loss, and now he's found us, which, oh my god, he makes us do his bidding. Yay. Uh, he asks us, don't think of him rude, um, but he's been following us, which sounds very, very creepy. You should learn not to do that. And he knows the way to return us to our former self, which is awesome at this moment because we want to be Link again. Uh, and he says if we can get back the precious item that was stolen from us, yeah, for enough time, he will return us to normal. So, I think it's a deal. Um, but he asks in exchange, he gets back, or we get back the precious mask that was stolen from us. So. It's kind of a win-lose situation, but for someone like us, it should not be a difficult task at all. It really isn't, but, um, this is the only catch. He leaves in three days. So, if we even want to get everything, um, we need to actually have more than three days. It's impossible, actually not impossible to beat the game in three days. Actually, it is impossible. You need at least two cycles to beat the game. Um, my bad. <laughs> I wasn't thinking. Uh, but we're young and tremendous courageous. So, we'll be fine. And, uh, we need to find it right away. But. We're not going to do that, we're going to be doing a lot of other stuff first, so we're just going to say screw his mask for now, and do what we want. Dawn of the first day, 72 hours remaining.
Yes, he gives us the creeps too. Um, yeah, it's okay to think aloud. I don't really care. Um, yes, three days. We only have 72 hours without sleeping. I feel bad for Link at the end of this. Um, yeah, he's very demanding. Um, we should go see the great fairy, but... Uh, first we have other stuff to do, um, if we want to look for the small kid, we don't really care at this moment. Um, the great fairy will show us what we need to do, um, she watches over everything. Um, uh, uh, skull kid is no match for her, um, that is actually a lie, she's actually not her formal self, per se. So, uh, she's in Northgate, which is behind us at the moment. Um, the dogs will actually attack the Deku Scrub, which is funny. Um, certain, uh, people on this game, or animals, will have different effects with different, um, characters. Um, so, it's kind of cool. Um, uh, this is a fairy, and it asks us to bring us to the broken parts and scattered, or the scattered pieces, or, wow, um, yeah, it just asks us to bring it to Northgate, which we're going to now. Don't worry, this will all make sense at some point. If this is your first time watching, I hope you guys are enjoying. Um, don't worry if um, I say some things that I shouldn't. Um, I say a lot of weird stuff every once in a while, but this is Tingle. Um, he thinks he's a fairy, but he's actually a 35 year old man. He's kind of creepy. Very creepy, but it's okay. Um, he likes Link's green clothes. He also likes his white fairy, and he asked us if it was a forest fairy. But technically, it is. Technically, it isn't. Technically, it is. Technically, it isn't. I don't know. Um, I think it is. Or is it asking if Zelda is? Or Link in this one. For those of you that actually know, this is Link. Green clothes and all, this is Link. Uh, yeah, his name's Tingle. Uh, he's a forest fairy. But he's age 35. Um, for those of you that actually don't know, um, the Kokiri, which were the inhabitants of the old forest, they don't grow up. Tingle, on the other hand, is human, and he um, actually can grow up. Um, and no, you. And, and he thinks he's a reincarnation of a fairy, so it's like he is. Um, and he sells maps. That's the only reason why we're talking to him. Um, just give us one of your maps, dude, please. I really need it. Yes, we want this one. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, on that last part was red where you came in and the yellow is where you are. So, if you guys can see, this is the yellow one's me and the red one is where I came in. Um, you will see that the great fairy is in pieces, but once you get the one fairy from town, you will actually be able to resurrect the great fairy, which is needed to prolong, or not prolong, to get further in the game.
progress. That's the word I'm thinking. Um, uh, she knows us we're of altered shape, which is awesome because it helps us for explaining everything that's happened to this point. Um, she's a great fairy of magic. Uh, she can give magic power. Yes! We get some magic power, which is awesome. We need some magic power. Thank you. Um, there are two magic power upgrades. There is this one and another one that we will be getting later on. Um, but this is this magic power is enough to beat the whole entire game. Um, so don't worry about it if you don't want to get the other one. But um, uh, we can shoot a magic bubble with B, and if we release B, we can shoot it and. Um, magic power will decrease, um, so you want to get magic jars and a potion or two at some point, but we're gonna want to get some potions at some point anyway because we're doing 100% and there's actually a few potions that you need to get regardless. Um, she tells us to go to the Absorbatory to visit a man that knows a lot about the Skull Kid's whereabouts. But she asks us to be careful, which um, is really appreciated because this game is kind of scary. Um, I will show you in a bit. Um, and we shouldn't uh, th underestimate the child power. Um, kind young one. Um, if you are returned to your former shape, come see me. I shall give you more help. Alright, well, I'm going to stop there. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. And please tune in to episode 2. See you guys.